Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. You might have noticed that we're in a different area than we were last time when we finish. That is um, because the game crashed on me, of course. <sighs> yes. And that means that we've lost all the progress. And, well, since the last save, and that was like two episodes ago, I think. So, wonderful. Now I haven't met the gas station attendant yet, the uh, the people in the shop, I am I did sleep and save later, but it's just really annoying. And because this game obviously doesn't have any bloody autosave feature, yeah, we're here. I think it doesn't anyway. Uh, well, I'm tempted to just go to sleep again, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I probably can. And just wait for 15 uh, to uh, to go to that place. Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch. Well, next. we've already went and through finally that. I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. There's a sleeping place. In seventy-five, directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the grandfather of panic movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. It's Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets <sighs> in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. Okay, shut but up. Still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. What? Where that the... reminds me, Zach. Oh, Did you God. know this one? Jaws also Can't appears press in another escape. movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's all. Hmm? Hmm? Zach, we'll finish our chat. Oh later. no, I've interrupted Let's him. Oh, here. he's gonna go about on about that again. Shut off the map. I can't press escape. I think that's because of. Oh, God. Can of pickles. A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Right, we've already been here, I think. Yeah, we've been. And that guy won't let us in here. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. <laughs> then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. <laughs> let's leave him in his. Yeah, let's let's do so. <clears throat> Even though we have a bloody <coughs> FBI thing, ID card, which we've shown and abused and whatever previously, but not now. Uh -uh. Oh, diner menu, yeah. Come on. <coughs> well, let's wait for the suspect to come out. There we go. Let's talk to her. Ah, ah, ah. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Just call me York. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. We've already seen this. Yeah, Nick's wife, blah, blah, blah. Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. <sighs> she played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. She's gonna fall right, asleep, Zach? or she's high. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh! Okay. So, Olivia, 
Do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. Can I girl. skip this? I can't <clears throat> believe she... Oh. Oh yes, I can, of course. Escape. I thought it didn't work, but... Get out of my way. Right, so this is useless. What's this? Coffee. <clears throat> yes. Now it's just a coffee card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something in my throat. Right. Well, let's get out of the diner. And, um... Bait. Normal worm as opposed to mutant more worm. Radioactive. Use it with a fishing rod. Instead of just throwing it into the water. Right, let's go to the... I don't know where. The police station I want to go to. No, the peak mechanic. You know, where, when you can go up to windows and peek through. It's kind of cool. But at the same time, the... Um, the way it's done is horrendous. Because <clears throat> to peek, you need to bloody load the entire map inside. So, it, you know, it goes into the load screen. And then you have to wait. And then... Oh, that's the sheriff's department. Why doesn't it say so? With an image or something. No, what? Yes, I, I know. Well, let's go to the sheriff's department. People are saying I need some better guns. Uh, for whatever. And yeah, let's see if we can get some here. Right. There we go. Sheriff's department, yes. Let's go there. Hello there, um, yeah, you can peek up there as well, I have no idea what that's good for, peeking, let's go over here first, come on, I should have just crashed the doors in, an unbelievably delicious turkey sandwich, oh, that was quick, um, right, what do we do, no, that's the save, which I probably should do every now and then, how do I buy new weapons, can I buy them here, I don't, um, I was able to get to that uh, weapon shop last time, but of course the the game crashed, so you didn't see that. Uh, conference room. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything useful in here, actually. Yeah, that's how you go through doors. Country, country ham will satisfy a moderate amount of your hunger and make you extremely thirsty in the process. Right, where's the car? Where's my car? Where is it? Oh, that's his car. Um, I think... Are these a little faster? I can't remember. A little more maneuverable, I think. Nope. There is horrible... Um, yeah, maybe a little slightly faster on acceleration. Oh my god. Horrible. They do turn better when you're, uh... Actually going at speed though. Now let me remember. I think it's this way, right? Uh, I have to check the bloody map again Where's the weapons shop? No, it's not this way or is it? I don't think it's gonna show me though Heaven and hell gas station. That's the gas station. Oh, is it here? Emily's home Swery Quinn's home Milk barn. Where's the fish? But I don't have a fishing rod yet. Where's that bloody galaxy of terror? Such stupid weapons shop. What's that? Emily Wyatt, Thomas, Carol, Fiona. Everyone lives there apparently. Is this Greenville General Hospital? Out of the way, of course, so they can perform horrible genetic experiments. Out of sight. Okay, so I guess it's just not gonna tell me where the, uh... Cope's tunnel. I guess it's just not gonna tell me where the, uh, weapons shop is. Oh, there's more here. Just let me zoom out completely, Jesus Christ. Look, I'm going through the entire bloody map. Just because it, I can't zoom out more. Damn it. What's this? Another home. Another home. Sigourney's house. Right, you know what? We just have to find it, I guess. 
I remember it being sort of in a... On a corner somewhere. Let's see. Oh yeah, this car is definitely faster, I think. But it doesn't really move that well. Zach. Picking up from where we left off. Right, apologies, okay, so I'm just gonna talk over him because it's like annoying. Next. Sometimes. And finally, I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one Weapon movie. shop. But I've put a lot of thought into this. No, not that. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. I wish the map wasn't Directed so bloody useless. Spielberg himself. Oh my god, this this really Grand doesn't turn very movies. well. Set in a small Look at it. town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating no. up. Look! You know what I'm talking it's about. It's not turning right? at all! Yeah. Bloody It's hell. Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't What's close this? the beach even when there are so many victims. Uh -huh. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between Sandwich them. shop. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One no. of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course. Oh, uh, this is going we'll nowhere. That time. So, the scene where Jaws appears is right, right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies, but it was still a great joke. We don't care. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. We'll be there pretty soon. We I don't wonder care. What life would be like by then, Zach. Finally, we're out of that dialogue sequence, and I can't find a bloody weapon shop. You know, everything is on the bloody map. The turkey sandwich uh, restaurant, the whatever bar I don't care about those places but the weapons shop is not indicated so that's brilliant and I've no idea where it is probably should look it up somewhere but and this car is horrendous like all the other cars in the bloody game look at them it's just a square come on oh what's that what is that icon hey eh? Is that like... Oh no, wait. That's the hotel, isn't it? I think so. See, what's the point? These icons only appear when you get near them. Why can't they appear on the bloody map? What's this way? What? Agent Honor? Oh, I picked something up. Oh no, am I going to that uh, place where I need to go? No, it's too far. Right, come on. Give me the uh, weapons shop. Or maybe I should just go to sleep and be done with it. Because this is useless here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Look at it. I'm back here where I started. Oh, this car is the worst. Can I blow it up? That would be cool. Keep going. Wow, this is an interesting episode, isn't it? Yeah. Driving around, doing nothing. Right, let's find a place to sleep and just sleep until 15. And then we'll, uh, we'll go to the next part of the mission. Can I get some uh, cushions with the zzz on top, please? Oh, there's a gas station. Oh, I think it's somewhere close to the gas station. Which is also where uh, my game crashed. So I should probably save the game somewhere. Right, here's the gas station. We'll just skip the stupid dialogue. Ugh! It's a guy now instead of that... Uh, his daughter, I think. Or was it his... 
Um, it's the same camera sequence. You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. Blah, blah, blah. Jack the Raging Bull, gasoline stand owner. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. Shut up. At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. <laughs> shut it. If you're a customer, act like one and shut the mouth. Wow. Huh? Huh? Excellent voice acting. I don't talk with customers. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? <laughs> Perfect for getting the car washed. Yeah, I don't want them washed from him. I need to get information from Jack. Let's fill up the car. Money? Okay. Yes. Bribe. Let's see. He's Jack, transparent here's the now. Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. Oh, that's a mission. View list cancel? What? What? Jack at Heaven and Hell Gas wants a hundred dollar bills. Hey, don't we all? However, if you give him more than 1,000, he'll supposedly give you something, re some really big info for the investigation, then. What? I don't want to give him more than 1,000. Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? Yeah, he's not... Huh? I'll tell you another one. When I see you again. What? <laughs> I was making fun of him whispering, and now the text is gone. Well, thanks for nothing, game. For Pete's sake. Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? No, except that it was a very poor voice actor. Well, that was interesting. Oh, there's the gun shop, finally. Let's go. Vandalism penalty, yeah. We're vandals. Let's get some guns. Actually, let's save first. Where can we save? Oh, there's nothing. There's no place to save here. Oh, bloody hell. It's closed? What? When is it open then? Or is it open later in the game or something? Maybe we can't buy better guns yet. Well... The door to the st store is locked. Yeah, but when is it open? Uh, any indication? Not really. Wonderful. So all of this was for nothing. Great. Well, we did lose $100, so that's good, I guess. Right, let's go to sleep. Um... Uh, Need to sleep for about six hours, and then we'll be there. Uh, actually, not six hours. Four. Where is uh? What's this milk? Oh, this is just a store, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we already were here. Oh, I'm gonna save first. I can see the phone. Mm -hmm. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We yes, need to be is. at the community center by 1500 I know. today. Just think of talking in front of all... Yes. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Uh, extra for daily reporters. So, we get... We pay $1 to phone, and we get $22 for reporting. So, we can just keep reporting forever, and we'll be rich. Or something. I have no idea. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.